I think the important thing is that clients are assessed before they come into treatment and the, the assessment process is a conversation. Um, what's the client looking for on the one hand, what are we offering on the other hand? Now what we offer isn't, isn't a, um, an overall panacea for, for addiction. There are a number of different things that can happen for, for people with addiction. But if you've got a serious uh, dependence on drugs or alcohol, abstinence would be suggested as the, the ultimate treatment goal and that 12-step facilitation offers something really positive uh, to, to do that. They don't have to hit their bo rock bottom, they don't have to go out and commit a crime, they don't have to lose everything to, to, to get to treatment and I think that's, that's really important. Um, and I, I know my encouragement to people who, who've, who even think they've got an issue with drugs or alcohol is to talk about it. Um, weigh up, look at, the, look, at the, look at where they are in the, in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the spectrum of things. We're a direct entry program. Uh, you can literally pick up the phone and call and make an appointment to see us. We, it is by appointment. We don't do walk-ins here because we're a small program. We don't have an AO. We don't have um, people at the door waiting to see you. So it is mainly by appointment. But if you've got a problem with drugs and alcohol, give us a call, make an appointment and come and talk to us. That's the, that's the basic way of getting here. Now we do take referrals from other providers, we do take referrals from, from other treatment uh, organisations, we take re re referrals from probation, from the courts, wherever. But you don't have to have a referral to come to CADS Um They have the assessment, which is basically a conversation, and they can start in group uh, the following week after that assessment. Now we're a group program, so our our treatment philosophy and modality depends on doing work in groups. We do have one-on-one -on -one, uh, counselling that's available to support that, but it's, it's mainly work in groups and the extra dimension of people working together in groups and sharing their experience is what cements the whole program together. Now, you start off with a thing called pre-entry, which is a very much a, an, a, an opportunity for clients to experience what we do here and to also come to some very simple, to very simple terms about things like self-diagnosis. Why am I here? Why do I need a program? Uh, it's about people actually feeling that, 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 they've, that they've come to that decision by their own uh, thought process and their own uh, logical process. It's not something that's been you know, pointed at them and they've got to, they've got to do it immediately. The, the term rolling with resistance is, is, the, is the thing that I, I love. It's, it's like you know, rolling that big rock down the hill. Um, you, you, you apply a little force, you apply a little force and not, not much happens and then, but, it, but it, it's all working away. Um, I'll give you an example, you'll, you'll have a client that'll turn up that's absolutely horrified at the idea of going to, to AA meetings. Uh, they talk to other clients, they work up their courage and they go to an AA, me AA meeting and they find that it's, it's, um, it's something that, re that relates to them, that they hear that story, they hear their own story being told by somebody else. The evidence is, and it's backed by, by the, the, some of the surveys that we've taken uh, at CADS Mount Eden. Um, we did a poster presentation last year at Cutting Edge, which is up on the wall out there, and that, that indicates that we're on the same track as, as these kinds of programs are in other countries. Um, and the indication is that um, long-term abstinence for people who go through these kinds of programs is, is an outcome that can be expected in, in, in fairly high numbers. This treatment program is designed for people who are still in the community. They may be working, uh, they may be bringing up children, uh, they may be on a benefit, uh, they may not be working, but they, they're, they're stable in the community, they're, they've got a place to live that they can go home to that's safe, it's not under a bridge, uh, they're, um, uh, they're, you know, they've got some sort of support system around them, they're not living in a tinny house on the corner, uh, they're, in, they're in, a, in a place where, where their living situation is stable and their social situation is stable and supportive to the idea of them uh, undergoing a treatment of, of, of recovery. If you turn up here and you've got a problem with alcohol, which might be exhibited by the fact that you've got five DICs, you might be very reticent to talk about anything else that's going on for you. That's okay. The important thing is that you can get engaged, you can come in and talk to a counsellor and, and, and have an assessment, which is a conversation. You can come to a group and open it up a little bit further. Um, it's not about it's not that you have to do this all at once in one great big vomiting 
<laughs> session in which every little thing that's happened in your life comes out. Uh, it's a process that you go through. All the 12-step groups have uh, phone numbers that you can call. Um, Alcoholics Anonymous has quite a complicated system of phone numbers. Uh, you, actually every group in Auckland has a person that you can call and talk to. Um, so you can actually gauge the depth of the welcome before you've even walked in the door. And I encourage clients to do that. I tell them that all groups are not the same. Some groups might be a whole bunch of older guys and, and might, feel, might feel quite intimidating if you're a younger woman. Some groups are, are really aimed at, at young people. Uh, some groups are aimed at women. Some, there, are, there are groups for gay people. Uh, so it's about finding a group that, that, that's going to fit what you're looking for without getting too fussy that, that, that your natural inclination not to go anywhere come, kicks in. We are attempting to provide at CADS Money in a place where people can make change that's permanent and that, 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 that really addresses their use of, of drugs and alcohol that, that have been, been harmful and, and uh, detrimental to their life.